Hello and welcome to this video. Um, I want to, we've talked about classes and moving things front to back. The next concept in Vectorworks that I want to discuss is going to be layers. Um, and uh, layers in Vectorworks are different than layers in um, AutoCAD, if that's where your background is. So let's just go ahead and jump in a little bit and, and then let me talk about them. So what I've drawn here is a is a little um, uh, like a little ground plan for an apartment. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about layers like they're sheets of tracing paper that you would draw something on a layer and then uh, on a piece of tracing paper and then you would lay a fresh piece of tracing paper down and draw the next thing that's above that um, and then uh, a new sheet of tracing paper and then whatever might be above that and then you can peel off different um, pieces of tracing paper and still see what's there and you can see what's um, if you put them together then you can see all of the things together so um, let's just take a look at the layer dialog box and you access the layer dialog box right next to the classes and it's right here and if you'll notice that the class there are a series of tabs across the top and we're talking about design layers right if you were to switch over here is our classes and you can see that I have some leftover classes from the um, class uh, video right the green fill and the pink fill and I've added a few things I just added the stairs um, and uh, actually let me just turn that on and let me make that current while I'm here but the design layer tab is what we want to talk about and there's a few things to to consider a design layer does not carry any um, attributes I can't assign a line type or a fill color it is strictly the um, uh, the piece of tracing paper we're starting to work with you know how we organize um, information so um, the one thing in design layers that we do get to set um, is the scale and again the scale in our drawings tends to is going to be half inch scale by default Vectorworks is now they used to be in half inch but now they're set to quarter inch scale which is displayed as one unit to 48 units that's quarter inch scale let's go ahead and just take a look if we were to edit this and see what this screen looks like right so if I were to edit that layer I can change its name its stacking order its elevation I there are all these things in here that I can change but the thing I would like to look at primarily is going to be scale and if you click on the scale it'll give you a lot of different options whether we're just doing generic enlargement whether we're dealing with metric or what our empirical scale is and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change our scale from quarter inch to half inch now if I'm changing a drawing with a bunch of existing layers in there I may want to go through and go ahead and just change all the layers so that my entire the scale of my entire drawing will change and I'll say OK and OK and now you'll see that our scale has changed from 1 to 48 to 1 to 24 which is now half inch scale right let's go back and look at our drawing and say OK probably got a lot bigger now why are layers important right and how do layers benefit you can have multiple classes on a layer right we can have a lot of different classes on a layer so um, and um, the layers are designed again like that tracing paper and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in right now and this is the first floor of our little apartment I'll explain it a little bit there's a doorway that comes in we have our kitchen there's a screen door that's here and then there is our staircase that goes up and maybe we'll do a little fly around and let me go ahead and render it open geo right 
so that you can sort of see the layout um, of our first floor, right? So you can see the doorway that comes in and all this. This is just a little model that I threw together. I'm going to come back over here and go to top plan view. I know we haven't gotten into a lot of 3D views, so don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> but here's our first floor plan. Now, I have a second floor plan that I drew, which is up where the bedrooms are. And by selecting the pull down menu, I can come down and I can select the second floor. Right? So now I'm just looking at the second floor. And here's a bedroom and a bedroom and the doorway to the bedroom and there's some windows. And I can do a little fly around and I'll have to re-render this in OpenGL. Right? And you can sort of get a sense of what this looks like. You can see the staircase underneath, right? The windows, right? And um, the two bedroom doors, right? So a fairly simple apartment top plan and so let's go in and let's turn them both on like if we were trying to draw all of it and when we look at both of them in top plan view you'll see that things get confusing right it's it's hard to tell exactly what's what's where which wall belongs where where the windows align um, it's just difficult to tell exactly what's going on and that's where we may want different layers. Different layers are going to be able to show us essentially different elevations within the building or information that we want to live on the top versus information we want to live on the bottom. We can change the stacking order, right? Where a layer exists. If I want the stairs to be on the very, very top level, then I'll leave them at, at uh, design layer one. By hovering over where the one is, I get this little thing that looks like a sheet layer. And I can drag it around. I can drag the stairs to live below. I can change the order of my tracing paper. Which piece of tracing paper is on the bottom versus what piece of tracing paper is on the top. Okay, so um, that shouldn't have much of a change. But if we do take a little fly around, we can sort of see our um, apartment, uh, right? Even though we can't see through the floor, you know, we can see through the windows into the kitchen a little bit. I think there's the refrigerator and the stairs, right? So this is a pretty simple little 3D model, but it does give you an idea about layers, right? So our, our first layer is the first floor of the apartment. And our second layer is the second floor of the apartment. And that way we can look at them individually. Let's go back to our top plan view. And how do we select layers? Layers are a lot like classes. Whatever is checkmarked is going to be whatever you're working on. A layer always has to be selected. That By default, there will always be a layer selected. It's important that you make sure that you have the layer that you want to work on selected and just by clicking that check mark you can go ahead and display it. Just like classes you have visibility and invisibility right so I can make the second floor invisible right um, or turn it off right or I can make it grayed out to where I can see it but I can't interact with it at all right so um, and even if everything is turned off, Vectorworks is going to assume that if you have that layer selected, that that is what you're going to want to see. So now I've turned off the first and the second floor, but I have the first floor selected and let's say OK. And now we're looking at the first floor of the apartment. To look at the second floor, I can go and quickly just use the pull down, the layer pull down menu and select the second floor and now I'm looking at only the second floor right so by the pull down menu I can quickly change between the layers that I want to work with and that is a quick overview of layers